just briefly for the sake of the people listening, um, mm -hmm. I wanted to be an author since I was about nine. Um, I started in earnest when I was about 16. I wrote three books which were, you know, youthful rubbish, um, mm -hmm. but I learned a lot from it. And so I sent these things off, got loads of rejections all the time. And, you know, I was discouraged, of course, but I just kept going because I had this dream that I wanted to be an author. Um, and it's, it's really hard anyway. Anybody else who's tried writing a book, writing a book is hard enough, but to get it published, I think it's like a quarter of a percent of manuscripts get published, something like that. Um, but the things that keep going and then, you know, you get to a, a point where life takes over, other things come in. Um, and then you return to that dream. It's having that in your heart, whatever your goals are, um, is being absolutely true to them and clinging on to them through everything, through all the crap, all the rejections. I mean, my first book that was published, King of Ithaca, my, the fourth book I've written, that had 38 rejections, mm. which is, you know, how do you put up with that? How, why don't you just throw it away? And um, but why do you put up with it? Because I look at what would I be without that? I would, you know, I had 20 years working in finance, actually, uh, when I was writing as well, but you know, that was the part-time thing. And finance, I, I can't find, I can't think of anything more boring. When I was a kid, the last thing I wanted to be, I thought the worst job I could ever do would be an insurance clerk. I ended up working for an insurance company for 10 years. <laughs> um, but the, the idea of giving up on your dreams and not being a writer, but just being something you don't want to be, whether it's an insurance clerk or whatever, it, I just, no, it would be despair. You know, I'm letting myself down. You've always got to be true to yourself. And that's what keeps me going. Even now, you know, I've, I haven't had a book published for about a year and a half because I've been working on a new book that has just been...